So it's half five and I'm whispering. I've got chemo at half nine, so I'm up fairly early. I've been awake cuddling the dog for an hour anyway and I'm having my coffee. So this is where I go differently. Because they need to have access to that, I'm going to wear, instead of my normal kit, I'm wearing a t-shirt, then I'm wearing a body warmer, and then I'm wearing a very unflattering old lady fleece on top, but it's a really big baggy one, so I can wear the fleece, if it's chilly on the unit, I can wear the fleece, but they can access my arm. The other thing I'm doing is instead of wearing jeans, which is what I normally wear, I'm wearing track pants, because I'll be on the unit for probably four or five hours, maybe more, and I would be attached to a drip on the, well, the whole time. So, and I'll need the loo. So I want to make sure that I can unplug my thing and I can go to the loo, and I want to be able to do that one-handed. So I'm wearing, and also I'll be sat in a chair. So I'm wearing nice, soft, cosy track pants, and also slippers. Because I want to be comfortable. It depends on your unit, where you go. Some of them have wonderful all-electric chairs. One of the bays in Poole has the most amazing electric chairs and you can go for that and doze, which is wonderful. But depending on the funding, some of them don't. Now, I can, where I'm going, I can put my footrest up so I can get my feet up, but I can't lean back very far. So it will depend where you go, how comfortable you will be for the time that you are on. But as I'm there for a while, I want to be as comfortable as I can. And I'm taking, I'll show you what I take with me. And then here's my bag. Now I keep most of this in here all the time so I don't forget it. Uh, glasses, because I'm wearing my varifocals and I always forget to change them so I've got them. Cheap headphones, so if I want to listen to something. I've got a pack of cables here. Uh, what else have I got? Uh, cables. I've got, uh, I think that's things to keep me you know, like lip balm and stuff. And I've got, yeah, that's things like lip balm, etc. if I need it. I, I don't, but just in case. I put my purse in there. I don't need money, but, you know, on the way back, if we want to get a McDonald's or something, that it's there. A book. A tablet, which is fully charged. That is my book that has all my blood test forms and all my details of my appointments in it. And then I will take my battery pack. And then I've got everything that I might need to keep me amused. Now, do be aware, if you're taking a tablet and you're going to watch stuff, the chances are that there is free hospital Wi-Fi, but it will not let me stream. Now, I can, I can piggyback that to this phone, but what I've also done is I've downloaded a couple of light films. I actually get interrupted quite a lot, so I often don't end up watching anything at all, but you know, between constant cups of tea and an endless stream of biscuits. But it's all there to keep me amused. Um, and then I've also got, what I've also got there in another little bag so they don't go everywhere is medication. Whilst I will be home tonight, there's no reason to think I won't. I also assume that possibly if anything went wrong, that's what I might need. Then here at the house, I have a bag permanently packed with things that I might need if they suddenly whisk me as an impatient. And then if I do need it, I can grab it. I mean, I never have needed it, but it's got a pair of pyjamas and a pair of lightweight slippers and my flannel and a spare toothbrush. So then I'm all organised and if anything happens, I've got everything I need. People can grab what I need if it did happen. And I figure that sod's law means that because I'm prepared, I'll never need it.